You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my Pride Month review for Handsome Devil. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos, including each and every one of my Pride Month reviews in which I'll be covering queer cinema throughout all of June. Handsome Devil is a 2016 Irish coming-of-age sports dramedy. Directed by John Butler, the film stars Nicholas Galatine, Bion O'Shea, and Andrew Scott. When two opposites, a loner and the star athlete, are forced to room together, they soon find themselves in a fast friendship at this rugby-obsessed boarding school. But as they both come to understand themselves and one another at a greater level, their friendship will be tested by all authorities. So long before Nicholas Gallet's scene rode onto our screens and into our hearts as a gay prince of England in red, white, and royal blue, and as a queer agent of chaos seducing kings and royalty in Mary and George, Mr. Gallatine was already quite familiar with playing gay, pretty much right from the start of his career. Now, like every other queer person roaming earth these days. I have found myself going down the rabbit hole of Nicholas Galatine. I adore him. I love him. He is the it boy of right now. And that's how I stumbled across Handsome Devil, a film I had yet to see in his filmography. And when I found out he once again was dabbling in the rainbow, I knew I had to check this out and couldn't wait to talk about it for Pride Month. So how does Handsome Devil stack up? Well, I think it's a really enjoyable, cute, quaint, teenage coming-of-age film. So let's kick things off with our positives. Well, first of all, I love mixing a sports and gay film together. Obviously, those two things are at odds so often. And as a person who identifies on the rainbow that loves all kinds of sports, I really enjoy getting to blend those things together. And the continued battle to knock down that toxic masculinity that creates such a divide. And that's pretty much exactly what Handsome Devil works to do. It is about breaking down that barrier, throwing out notions, no matter if that means you're a loner or you are literally the star of your sports team and being queer. All of it is your truth. All of you is your truth. And we get to those conclusions in very sweet ways, in what feels like mostly organic fashion with each of our characters. Ned is the lead here, played by Fionn O'Shea, and I think he does a great job in this role. The character is obviously quickly identifiable, quickly relatable, because he is an outsider, he's made fun of. And we never really confirm early on what's going on with him, but the inferences obviously are there from his classmates, and then they kind of just bleed over to the audience. But I think he does a great job at the character development and growth for him throughout the film. Nicholas Galatine plays Connor, and he kills it. I mean, he has the sauce, y'all. He has the talent. He's a great actor, and he gets to put those pouty eyes and lips to wonderful use yet again. <laughs> I loved his, like, 2000s, almost emo, swiped hair. But the sports version, the popular version, where it's blonde. I thought he was really great at balancing this star persona, this kind of, like, outsider by being the new kid persona, and then somebody who's hiding something. And then we have Andrew Scott, who it's always lovely to see an out actor get to be a part of films like this and get to be a part of coming of age stories that hopefully have the chance to help others feel seen and heard. And he's amazing, as he always is here in this film. He plays our teacher, obviously the writing teacher, some sort of English teacher that the gays just gravitate towards. And turns out <clears throat> he's a little bit gay himself. 
But I think that our two leads have a lot of chemistry together, not necessarily romantic chemistry, but it's much more of a platonic friend chemistry, a supportive chemistry of one another as they are kind of going through their journeys side by side, coming to realizations next to each other as friends. This entire subplot of like singing and speaking in your own voice, letting your unique perspective be seen and heard I think works really well. It has all of the little charms and quirks of other UK Irish type of indie coming of age stories. We've seen these films. They're always really enjoyable, quite funny, well filmed, have a bopping soundtrack, and Handsome Devil is no different. However, there are some things I didn't love with the film, so let's talk about the negatives with Handsome Devil. Well, my biggest negative is that I don't think we ever explicitly state anything. As I said with our main character, you as an audience member literally are just kind of meant to jump to that conclusion at some point in the film. We never really get any sort of discussion with him we never get a moment for him i also don't love the moment we get for connor obviously it is very much integral to the story itself and to specifically ned's character in this film but i'm so over outing stories by and large (laughs) obviously this was nearly a decade ago at this point that's right eight years But mm, it always feels real icky when people are forced out of a closet. And I didn't love that here either. And I also don't think we go into that enough. It really is an afterthought after that. I think there needed to be repercussions. There needed to be a discussion that happens directly about that. And everything is really glazed over in a cutesy fashion. Really all of the conflicts in this film actually are just kind of glazed over. It's an easy breezy kind of watch, but there's a lot of big things that are taking place here. A coach gets this mini kind of mm, forgiveness arc that is totally, completely undeserved and unearned. This idea about expulsion or not being expelled and the friendship at the core of the film, I think needs to have some sort of more concrete mm, resolution. And this definitely kind of has the air of earlier queer films. We don't even say the word gay, I don't think, in this film outside of either exposing people or a negative connotation. (laughs) I'm not gonna lie. The entire film does kind of feel like they are just kind of skating around the edges of the issue, if you will. It's a lot of inference. It's a lot of implications. But we never really feel these characters kind of have the moments where they settle into themselves. Instead, we just have kind of general moments of inspiration or growth for them. So in many ways, it's just a little bit more generic than I had hoped for in all of those aspects. But I found Handsome Devil to be an enjoyable watching experience. It was great to see baby Nicholas Gallant scene and see that, you know, he's been rocking with this queer community, taking these gay roles right from the jump. (laughs) When you have that little cute pouty face, I guess it's inevitable, right? But I watched Handsome Devil on Tubi, where we seem to be getting all of these Pride Month viewings in. It's a free service, but you do have to watch commercials. However, it seems that Tubi really does have a pretty large library of queer films. So if you're looking to watch Handsome Devil for free, and then get put on to a number of other gay films. Definitely check out Tubi. Check out Handsome Devil. It's not a groundbreaking work. It's not the deepest work. I don't even think it's the best of the coming-of-age team gay films we've got over the past decade. But it is a pleasant enough watch that's worth checking out. So that is my review for Handsome Devil. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead click like down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos, including each and every one of my Pride Month series reviews. 
And make sure to join in on the discussion. Have you watched Handsome Devil? Let me know all of your thoughts on the film, either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.